Hello, Lou Depot again here. And this particular class, very brief class, I want to talk to you a little bit about corrugated stainless steel tubing, or what they call CSST, or track pipe. And basically what it is, is the old-fashioned way they used to run gas pipe in a very hard steel pipe where the old-fashioned plumbers would cut it and thread it with a tap and die and actually cutting oil and thread the pipe together. Now, as everything else has gotten easier in life, they've invented corrugated stainless steel tubing, which looks nothing more than a flexible gas connector. I know if you look behind your stove, you may see one. They're usually yellow or gold in color, and they're flexible. Well, now they make them in 100-foot rolls where you can do the gas in the house with them, plumbing. The problem is, for some reason or another, they attract lightning. And a lot of houses have burnt down, and your house does not have to get struck by lightning for this to cause a fire. It's stainless steel tubing, and it's coated in a yellow coating. Now, you can use it in your house. The reason for this class is if you have it in your house and someone did it without a license or without an inspection or wasn't sure what they were doing but ran the line and it happens to work, you need to make sure that it hasn't been run by any metal or any ductwork in the house. If it's very, very close to metal where electricity could travel through the, the tubing, jump out to ground is what it's looking to do because it'll blow right out of the tubing and make a hole in the tubing. But because there's gas in there, besides making the hole, <clears throat> the gas ignites and the flame keeps coming out because it's pressurized. And that sets the houses on fire and burns down the house. You can Google corrugated stainless steel tubing fires and you can actually... You can actually see the fires. But there's a way around it. Number one, you keep the corrugated stainless steel tubing on the track pipe away from any metal. If it's ran in midair and it's not near anything, it's okay. Number two, it has to be grounded. At one point, it's screwed on to a regular steel pipe coming in from the gas main. That's got to be grounded with number six wire, either to the water main or to your own outside copper pole that you put 10 foot into the ground if you're not able to get to a water main. Either way, grounding it and keeping it away from metal will keep you safe and keep your house from burning down. So check yours out now. If you have track pipe that was ran by somebody who's not a professional, you can do two things. You can move it in such a way it's not near any metal and have it grounded, or you can change it the corrugated uh, stainless steel tube and to flash shield. Flash shield is one of them, which is, is a little better. And then there's one more out there. Counter strike is the other one. But there's a lot of track pipe out there. A lot of houses have gone on fire. They need to be ran in such a way that they're not near any metal and that they're grounded, that they're bonded and grounded. And then they're safe.